Okay, this is a video of the same little fellow we just worked on. And we are going to try to um, put warm compresses on his penis because it has got a scab on it. It's very swollen. we got to get the scab off because he can't pee. And so, as you can see, he is extremely swollen. And we have to remove that or he's going to get in more serious trouble here. So we're just going to put some warm compresses on him right now and hope that we can loosen the scab up without prying it off and hurting him too much. Ah, I love the little one. He is a trooper. Aren't you? We'll probably cut part of the soaking time out of the video because uh, we just we'll be using a lot of minutes. So this is going to take a few minutes to to work on this. He is just naturally this calm. He has not been tranquilized or anything else. He's very cute and very sweet. And now that I said that he's calm, he's probably not going to stay still for me. Ah, you should never speak too soon. Okay, I know. I know. You're a good boy. You can rub on. We're just sitting here soaking him so you can play with the baby and keep him calm. A trick I learned a long time ago with taking care of horses is divert their attention elsewhere and they won't be quite so upset with what you're doing with them. Ah, so we're going to rub on. You can rub under their little arms. They normally love that. Let's see if he does. No, no, I'm not in a good position. It is, oh, yeah, okay, I guess I do like it. I guess I do like it. It is uh, very important that we get him to be able to urinate. And that's, that's why he's swollen. I don't normally uh, recommend heat on something like this because he's already swollen but I'm trying to get the scab to loosen up and uh, this um, the heat will actually make swelling worse and he's only swollen because there's urine there that would like to come out once I get that scab off that swelling should go right down so he can pee he is on amoxicillin because he had the maggots removed last night, he had a nice little hole. That scab is actually starting. I'm going to try to show him. The scab is actually loosening up right now. But you don't normally want to use warm on, a, on something that's already swollen because the warmth will make it more swollen. And he looks, there's this hole underneath there where the maggots were. Looks like it's draining a little bit. But the amoxicillin should cover him for any infection that he had with that. That scab looks like it's getting ready to come off now. It's got to be painful on him. It's very swollen. He's kind of a mess, this little guy is. But I think he's going to be okay. I hope. I hope. Okay, that scab is definitely loosened up now. Now we have to see if we can get him to pee. I'm just going to massage him a little bit around his genitals to see if we can get him to pee. If he doesn't pee in the near future, he's going to end up going to the vet. I don't usually go to the vet unless I absolutely have to. So my vet is wonderful. She doesn't charge me for wildlife care, and if I can take care of the problem myself, then I don't waste her time. If I can't resolve the problem myself, the animals go to the vet. Get over here. You can see he's, he's got some energy and stuff. Yeah. 
And this was not caused from being in with a litter of a bunch of babies here. This was caused because he was orphaned and probably self-sucking. Which is not uncommon if they've been orphaned. He's on amoxicillin twice a day. And that should take care of any infection that he's got brewing. The scab is definitely gone, so Unless the maggots did damage, because that's where they were. They could have done some internal damage to them. They were right under his penis in this hole that I'm going to show you right here. Right there he had the hole, and that's where the maggots were. So they could have done some, some harm to him. That hopefully, if they did, we can get it repaired. And we're just going to keep him, keep working on him to see if we can get him to pee. I'm actually going to check his blankets now and see if they're damp and see if I can tell if he's been peeing a little bit. He's certainly not peeing right now. And that's that for that video. Say see you later. We'll be back. Let's show you how we're doing. I'm actually back. We just shut the camera off for a minute. I want to show you that I do still put the Preparation H on him because I don't want that scab to come back and if we can keep it soft it probably will not. I don't know if you can see this. That's just going right on him. I don't think he needs a yuck so I'm not going to put it on. He is getting fed four to five times a day. It wouldn't normally that often at this age but he's very thin so we're going to try to get as many calories into him as we can.